News, uh, 549, AM 590 and 99.7 on your FM dial and everywhere at NewsRadioKLBJ.com. Got it, Creepy. Yeah, a little bit there, thanks. Uh, let's give them the business. It's brought to you by Pinballs, Pinballs.com. That's with a Z, Pinballs.com. Well, former U.S. President Donald Trump, he said yesterday that he would create a government efficiency commission to be headed up by billionaire Elon Musk, who suggested the idea if he were elected president in November. To get more on the story, here's business reporter Cheryl Cassoni. So former President Trump, he was here in New York City yesterday, did his lunchtime speech at the Economic Club. He said that he wants to create a government efficiency commission that would perform audits of the federal government. I will create a government efficiency commission task with conducting a complete financial and performance audit of the entire federal government and making recommendations for drastic reforms. We need to do it. Can't go on the way we are now. And Elon, because he's not very busy, has agreed to head that task force. Be interesting. If he has the time, that'd be a good one to do it. But he's agreed to do it. You know, so Elon Musk responded to that, and here's what he said, quote, I look forward to serving America if the opportunity arises. No pay, no title, no recognition. Uh, recognition, excuse me, uh, is needed. Uh, so some other things that he came up with, I just want to say here, um, basically he wants to cut the corporate tax rate down to 15%. Uh, from 21 percent if that company makes everything here in the united states take back unspent money from the inflation reduction act uh, new drilling uh, permits and pipelines and the ev mandate and he also said something about making the united states uh you know the leader in bitcoin and cryptocurrency and finally i like this one to cut 10 regulations for every new uh, one regulation. Now, Vice President Harris is proposing to raise that corporate tax rate up to 28 uh, percent, to be clear here. There's also uh, things that she's talked about in particular with unrealized uh, gains. So if you're talking to the Economic Club of New York, these are the things that they wanted to hear yesterday from the former president. Right, there you go. That's Fox reporter uh, Cheryl Cassoni. Now, the commission would be tasked with auditing the entire federal government before making recommendations for drastic reforms to eliminate and Eliminate fraud and improper payments within six months. It is 551. Football season is underway, and while many states allow betting on the games, Texas remains the outlier. Legalizing gambling would provide a continuous revenue stream for the foreseeable future. That's Rice University political analyst Mark Jones. He predicts there will be, well, a push in January to link online sports betting with the uh, reduction of property taxes. One way that they could provide that relief is through legalizing online sports betting, which would provide a natural revenue stream. Now, backers of sports betting have a new ambassador at the state capitol. That's former Governor Rick Perry, who has uh, worked with a gambling industry lobbyist for a couple of years now, and he's taking on the new job with the Speaker of the House. It is 552. Just how safe are these robo-taxis on streets in America? One state wants a, wants a law to make sure that they're not a road hazard. Here's the story from Fox Newsman Eben Brown. Companies like Tesla and Waymo have been testing self-driving cars for more than a year in California, though they've had their fair share of traffic mishaps. Now California lawmakers want some accountability. The state assembly passes a bill which they call first of its kind, called the Self-Driving Cars Safety and Transparency Bill. It requires the developers and operators of self-driving taxis report crashes and malfunctions to California's DMV, which in turn will make the data public. California says regular cars undergo rounds of safety testing, and so should the self-driving cars. The state has been serving as a test track since 2018. Eben Brown, Fox News. A Boeing's troubled space capsule is scheduled to undock from the International Space Station later this evening and make a, an uncrewed remote-controlled return to Earth and while leaving uh, the test flight crew aboard the orbiting outpost. Boeing's Starliner is now ready for an automated flight back to Earth months after it arrived with two astronauts on a test flight where its thrusters didn't quite work and gas was leaking. The undocking is tonight. 6.04 Eastern undock and a landing at the White Sands Space Harbor just after midnight at around 12.04 Eastern. NASA's Steve Stitch of the Johnson Space Center. Crew members Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore will remain on station through February when a SpaceX-owned capsule We'll give them a ride home. Evan Brown, Fox News. Google is set to go on trial next week 
The Department of Justice is trying to break up Google's digital advertising business as the tech giant is accused of shutting competitors out of the tech advertising market. Prosecutors on Monday are expected to focus on the company's technology that brings together advertisers and website publishers. Google argues the move would hurt innovation in small businesses while leading to higher fees. The case is part of the Biden administration's push to rein in big tech through antitrust law. This after a judge in a separate DOJ case found that Google monopolized online search engines illegally. In Washington, Ryan Schmelz, Fox News. All right, it is 5.55. Stay with us. we got the top story straight ahead with Fox News and our local news as well. And you can join us anytime you wanted the conversation at 512-836-0590. It is 5.55 here at KLBJ. The Todd and Oz Show. Warning. 